In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan will have to flee. Oh, tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name of Jesus, mighty name of Jesus, Satan will have to flee. Oh, tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name of Jesus, mighty name of Jesus, Satan will have to flee. Oh, tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name, Jesus Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you, Sister Eleanor. Good morning, Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, Brother Henderson. God bless you and Sister Lisa. Good morning, Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, Dr. Harrison. Good morning, Sister Banks. Good morning, Patia. Good morning, Rosalind. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jackson. Good morning, Sister Turner. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Shy. God bless you. Good morning to you. Good morning, Grace. God bless you. Good morning, Patia. Good morning, Sister Jewel. God bless you. Good morning, Reese. God bless you. Good morning, 15662. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. Tamika, good morning to you. God bless you. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Dr. Haywood, God bless you. Sister Haywood and the family, good morning. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Mother Fears, Pastor Fears, and all the wonderful saints of Greater Ecclesia. Good morning, Sister Kimberly Clark. God bless you. And Deacon Clark, good morning. Deacon Grant, God bless you and your family. Good morning, Bailey. God bless you. Good Good morning, Minister Scott. God bless you. Good morning, Missionary Bryant. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Iris. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Miriam. God bless you and your entire family. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Terrence and the family. Good morning, Sister Mary. God bless you. Good morning, Tiana. Good morning, Angela. My dear sister, God bless you. Good morning, Latasia. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Dykes. God bless you. Good morning, Missionary Johnson. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Walker. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Burnett. God bless you. God bless you, Minister and Mother Morris. Good morning to you both. Good morning. God bless you, Sister Dion. Good morning. God bless you, Sister Bailey. Good morning, Sister Gibson. God bless you. Good morning, Carmelita. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Scott. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Cheek. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Donaldson. God bless you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to bring to you a biblical meditation and prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And I'm thanking God today for just being able to be alive and just being able to carry out various opportunities and God is just opening doors and for that we are grateful. We're grateful today for answered prayer because yes, God answers prayer. He continues to bless the lives of people who seek him, who follow him, who walk with him, hallelujah, in the context of prayer. So I want to encourage everybody as the Bible says that men ought to always pray, my God, and not faint. So as always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. 
us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it right into the chat or you can inbox Reginald Davis or Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place it into the chat on the screen or you can direct message Pastor RJD. And for everybody on the conference call, and I thank God for our conference call listeners, everybody on YouTube, I thank God for our YouTube viewers. If you have a prayer request, you can text it to 336 Five six seven five three five eight. Again, that number is three three six five six seven five three five eight. You can text in your prayer requests. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them, and we are believing God with you for miracle signs and wonders. Come on and join me right now in the book of Proverbs, chapter eleven, and I want to read verses twelve through. Let's see. Verses 12. Let me make sure I got the right verses here. Forgive me. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 11, verses 12 through 17. 12 through 17. And the Bible says, He that is void of wisdom despiseth his neighbor, but of man of understanding holdeth his peace. A tale bearer revealeth secrets. But he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. He that is surety for a stranger shall smart for it. He that hateth suretyship is sure. A gracious woman retaineth honor, and strong men retain riches. The merciful man doeth good to his own soul. But he that is cruel troubleth his own flesh. He that is good, hallelujah, doeth good, troubleth his own flesh. I want to talk to you today from the blessings of wisdom. The blessings of wisdom. You know, as you read the Proverbs, um, to some degree... It will appear as if these are random um, musings, random sayings, random things that um, Solomon is trying to impress or get over to uh, his son and to those that will listen. But there is a thread in the symmetrical. And there, when I mean by symmetrical is that you have two phrases that kind of say the same thing or the asymmetrical where there is a phrase that speaks about. Um, something wise and then a phrase that talks about doing something that is foolish. There is a message and there are several messages that flow through Psalm, through Proverbs rather, that we can reflect upon, that we can grow through, that will allow us to understand um, that God is in so many cases trying to protect us. You know, it's been said that knowledge is power and if knowledge is power, wisdom is greater power. Being able to apply that knowledge to a given situation, to a given step, to a given um, scenario empowers you even further. And the Proverbs talk not only about um, spiritual virtue and spiritual life, but also the Proverbs speak to us concerning those things of common sense, common things that um, will protect us. Um, sometimes relationally, sometimes financially, sometimes in terms of relationships. So it's wisdom. And, and you know what? And that really echoes the fact that the wisdom of the word is applicable to almost every facet of life. And if you will read and study and, and, and take in the word of God, it will talk to you about your health. It'll talk to you about prosperity. It'll talk to you about money. It'll talk to you about your wife, your husband. It will talk to you about your children. There is so much wisdom flowing in the word of God and flowing in the Proverbs that it can give you guidance as you walk through life. Let's look at verse number 12. He that is void of wisdom despiseth his neighbor, but a man of understanding holdeth his peace. And this is talking about, hallelujah, one who gossips, somebody who slanders, somebody who tries to destroy, hallelujah, people with words. And, and, and it's a sad thing, but it's a true thing that, that we do more damage, perhaps, with our mouths than we'd ever do with a gun or, or, or a rock or, or a knife, hallelujah, because it sometimes is lasting damage. 
we we some it, it, it's, it's really amazing to me how people will work to destroy the reputation hallelujah of who people who are innocent but we will sometimes protect people who are slimy who are un ungodly who are in so many ways hardly outside of the will of god we'll protect them we'll try to keep things as quiet as possible but somebody who has done no one harm all right. And this neighbor is not just the person next door. It can be your next door neighbor. It can be the neighboring church. It can be the neighboring pastor. It can be the neighboring person on your job. But hallelujah, if you don't have wisdom, you will use your mouth to gossip, to slander and try to destroy with words somebody who perhaps is innocent. But he talks about the silence or the wisdom of silence. But a man of understanding holdeth his peace. Sometimes you can know something, but not say what you know. Sometimes you can hold something and trust me, if somebody is out of pocket, if somebody is doing something that is ungodly, it will find its way to the surface. It will find its way because the Bible says what is done in darkness comes to the light. And if they don't repent, if they don't turn themselves to the Lord, trust and believe it's going to come and find them in some other way. He goes on to talk about this thing about the mouth. A tale bearer revealeth secrets, but he that is of a faithful spirit can sealeth the matter. You know, sometimes people just talk entirely too much. And I want to warn everybody about tale bearers, people that bring you stuff, people that are always telling you the inside scoop and the inside information about this one or that one, or I heard this, or I read that, or somebody sent this to me, or somebody sent that to me. And, and there's an old phrase that says a dog that will bring a bone will carry a bone. Let me say that again. A dog that will bring a bone will carry a bone. In other words, if somebody's always bringing you stuff about other people, trust and believe that they are taking stuff about you to other people. If they're always bringing other people's business to you and they're telling you what they heard about this one or that one or the other, trust and believe that whatever they know about you, they're sharing with somebody else. And that's why the Bible says a tale bearer revealeth secrets. You know, I, you got to get to a point where you simply believe there's no such thing as off the record. There's no such thing because people have this unique way of betraying confidence, sharing confidentiality. And you know what? There ought to be a place in the body of Christ where people can share things with you of a private matter and know that it's not going further. They ought to be able to come. The Bible says, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another. Well, one of the reasons why we don't see that scripture in practice is because most of us have been betrayed by somebody. Most of us don't trust that if I tell you something of a private, intimate nature, it's not going to go further. But sometimes everything doesn't need to be told. Everything doesn't need to be announced. Everything doesn't belong on social media. Everything doesn't belong in the discussion. Well, somebody told me X, Y, or Z. Some things you need to keep between you and Jesus. They told you it in confidence. And yes, you ought to be able to go to God in prayer and then leave it alone. Hallelujah. And God's going to allow it. Hallelujah. To come to fruition and to bless somebody's life. But he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Now this, now some people say, well, Bishop, are you saying we ought to hide sin and hide this and hide that? No, no. Trust me. God has a way of revealing things. And Satan has a way of exposing things and he doesn't need you to help him in that endeavor. Hallelujah. Whatever people have shared with you, told you in confidence, told you in privacy, keep it unless it involves somebody being put at risk, unless it involves somebody being put in danger, unless it's something of that nature, you need to hold it, pray about it and ask God to reveal it so that God can give the answer to the situation. Let me deal with this verse number 14, where no counsel is the people fall. Where no counsel is, the people fall. In other words, where there's no advice, where there's no wisdom, where there's no guidance, where there's nobody sharing, hallelujah, good information, people are going to fall. And that's why in most cases, you try not to make critical decisions in isolation. Prayerfully, you ought to be able to talk to your parents. You ought to be able to talk to your siblings or your close loved ones or your spouse. You ought to be able to talk to somebody that you know has your best interest at heart. All right. But he says, but when there's no counsel, 
When you're just making decisions off the cuff, when you're just making decisions without any kind of guidance or input from anybody, if nothing else, you need a different perspective because when you're in it, you're looking at it from your view, your mindset, your ideal, and you need to be able to look at it from another perspective, from somewhere where you can share it and hear it and, and reason it out so that you come to a the best conclusion and the godly conclusion. But look at this in verse, the latter clause of verse 14. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. All right. There's safety and talking to other people that you can trust. Now, let me just be clear. Make sure they're spiritual. Make sure they're mature. Let me say it again. Make sure they're spiritual and make sure they're mature. Because if you take it to somebody that's not spiritual, you're going to get a carnal answer. If you take it to somebody that's immature, you're going to get an immature answer. But you want to take your matter to somebody that has maturity and somebody that is spiritual, that prays and hears from God, because that's going to help you get the best counsel. And sometimes it's better to talk and listen, share and listen, pray some more and listen, especially if it's a critical decision. You don't want to make hasty, critical decisions about your life. You want to talk it through and believe and trust God for the right answers. The Bible says, let's move on. Verse 15, he that is surety for a stranger shall smart for it. He that is surety for a stranger shall smart for it. In other words, if you find yourself co-signing, guaranteeing, hallelujah, that somebody else will pay a bill, That somebody else will pay for a car. That somebody else will pay for a house. And you do it without somebody that you really know. You are taking a risk. Because once again, if they walk out on that debt, that debt becomes yours. The the, creditor is going to look for you. The courts are going to look for you. All because you tried to help somebody. If It's better if you have the resources, help them get it some other way. But if you start signing your name and guaranteeing that you're going to take care of other people's debt. You're creating another debt for yourself. You got a car that you can't drive. You got a house that you can't live in. And you've made yourself the guarantor over that. And the Bible says if you do it for a stranger, somebody you don't know, somebody you know you can't trust, or somebody that you can't trust, then guess what? You're going to hurt for that. He says, and he that hateth suretyship is sure. Hallelujah. I I I get it. We all want to help people. I get it. We all want to be a blessing wherever we can. But try to find another way to bless them besides putting your name on something and making yourself the guarantor for somebody else's debt. That's the cosigner. That's what I'm talking about. That's the cosigner because you can make that mistake. And once again, if they walk out on that debt, it becomes yours. Then he says, as we prepare to close, a gracious woman retain of honor and strong men retain riches that you keep your credibility by living in grace. You keep your finances by being strong. And this is not talking about physical strength, but strong in character, strong in prayer, strong in listening and hearing from God, strong in being able to make good decisions about life. And this last verse is a merciful man doeth good to his own soul. A merciful man doeth good to his own soul. Let's talk about mercy. Mercy is when in ideally you've got somebody in a vulnerable position. They owe you, you're the boss, you're the leader, you have something that they need in, in, their pos- in your possession, and you decide to grant it. You decide to help. You decide to strengthen them. And when you are merciful, you do good to your own soul. The Bible says, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are those people that are merciful in their mindset, in their focus, in their lives, because they will indeed obtain mercy. But if you're always trying to exact revenge, I got to get back at him. I can't let her think she got away with anything or got over on me. The Bible says the cruel... Trouble if his own flesh. Why? Because there's a cycle. 
I don't believe in karma. I believe in the biblical principle of sowing and reaping. That you reap what you sow. Whatever you put out, whatever you do, whatever you exact is going to find a way back to you. So be very careful, my brothers and sisters, how you deal with people and deal with them from a position of mercy. Deal with them from a position of grace because, yes, you will bless yourself. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you and thank God for the word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Gracious eternal God, I love you. I thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your grace. I thank you for your continued love and kindness, Lord, upon so many people. Jesus, you've just been good to us. You gave us rest last night, and we awakened, my God, in our right minds, able to get out of the bed, able to start our day, and able to join this great cadre of believers from all over the world. Lord, I thank you for the morning prayer family. And whether we have come by Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, however we've come, Lord, oh God, I'm asking you to flood this prayer room with your anointing, your presence, your power. Move in such a way, God, that we know that we're in your presence today. Lord, I want you to bless my God, everybody on this line. I want you to honor every prayer request that has come before you, whether it's come by Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, oh God, however it's come, by messenger or chat, my God, or email, I want you to provide and to minister to every need of God and provide what is needed at this moment. God, your people need you. Hey, Shatiyama Sata, your sons and daughters need you, so remember us today. God, we're praying for Ricardo. We're praying for Caribbean Refuge Temple. We're praying for the Herbert family. My God, we're praying for the churches all over the Caribbean in St. Lucia, St. Kitts, the Dominican Republic, Trinidad, Tobago. My God, remember the people in Jamaica. Remember, my God, hallelujah, the saints in the Bahamas, Lord God, Grenada, wherever the people of God dwell, I'm praying for your blessing upon them. I'm praying for your blessing upon the believers in India today. In Pakistan, God, stretch out your hand. My God, and minister to the knees in Africa, all over the world, God. There's a need, oh God, for your presence, a need for your strength, a need for your grace. And I want you to bless now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we're praying today that you would remember Bishop and Lady Alday, Bishop and Mother Wright, Bishop and Mother Jenkins today, Bishop and Lady Mother Darby, Bishop and Lady Cousins, Bishop Sylvester Reed, Bishop Clifton Staten, Bishop and Lady Wilkins, Bishop and Lady Diaz, Bishop. Bishop and Lady Wallace, Bishop and Mother, hallelujah, and Lady Taylor today. Oh God, Apostle and Lady Keith, Apostle and Lady Parsons, Apostle Michael Fields, Apostle and Lady Barry, Apostle and Mother Jackson today, Apostle, my God, and Lady May, Apostle and Mother Clark today, Apostle and Lady Reuben, Apostle, hallelujah. And Lady McCoy, Apostle and Mother Moultrie today. Remember my Apostle and Mother Jackson, God. Remember Bishop Jones. Remember Pastor and Lady Patton today. Remember Pastor Johnson, Pastor and Lady Kozak, Pastor Hill, my Elder Hill, Elder and Sister Crawley today. Elder Kip Sr., Elder Kip Jr. I pray for Latasia and her family. We lift up the President today. We pray, oh God, for Donald Trump. We pray for this country in the midst of this election. God, show us the way. And lead us and guide us, my God, and protect us in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Tiana Hopkins today. Remember Katrina Wilson Brown. Remember Sister Riley. Remember, my God, Mary Beckett. Remember Mother Stokes today. Remember Sister Hallelujah, Glenda Brown Wiggins. Remember Simone Jackson. Remember Sister Regina Jackson. Remember Tammy and Jesse Garnett. Remember Deacon and Mother Wilkins today, God. Remember, oh God, Robin Cook Jones in the name name of Jesus. Joe Mack, remember Karen Wallace. Remember Burnett Smith today. My God, we're praying that you remember Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson today. God, remember oh God, Irvin Johnson. Touch and deliver in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember Mother Barbara Pittman, Deacon Lewis. Remember the Mason family. Remember Kyanne and Keelan. Remember Stacy and Trayvon. Remember my God, Lady Lisa Kinchin, Sister Seneca Austin. Remember the Edwards, Myers, Butler, and Stacy families. Remember Jamal and Dakota. 
Tasha. Remember the Greer family. Remember Sister Deborah Walker. Remember Terrence and Manessa. Remember Miracle today. God touch that young woman and deliver. Remember Makeda today. Remember Hodges today. Remember my God, Latasia. Remember Bradley. Remember Stefan. Remember my God, Doris Atkins. Remember Jamal and Erica. Shakita. My God. Remember Ricky today. God deliver in the name of Jesus. Remember Julie. Remember Adrian and Miss Gordon. God, I'm praying for Miss Teresa. I'm praying for Elder Jesse Hall, Missionary Gail Leah. Mother Elizabeth Anderson, Mother Patricia Jordan. I'm praying for Sister Edwards today, for Anita, for Will, for Miss Dove. We're praying, my God, for Mother, hallelujah, for At Chica today. We're praying for Miss Pauline and Patricia. We're praying for Michael and Tanya, for Kenneth Perry today, for Sarah. Oh God, bring them today. God, Brisbane rather. We're praying for Deacon Riley. We're praying for Janet Edwards. We're praying for Keith Perry, for Jackie Hinton, for Will, for George Sutton. We're praying for Deacon and Sister Stokes this morning. We're praying, my God. God for Beth Bunch. We're praying for Patina Hopgood, Geraldine Tyler, Lisa Manning today, Tony. We're praying for Emily Champion today. We're praying for Robert Brown. We're praying for Ashley, for Michael Brown, for Eric today. We're praying for Melissa Gallup, for Sandra Lewis. We're praying for the Glory Church of Jesus. We're praying for Paris Rose today, for George Miles, for Colleen Hodges. Lord, every name on the prayer list, God save. Eshatama, save to the utmost. God, break the yoke of the enemy. Me, break the chains of bondage and God save in the name of Jesus. God reclaim and restore backsliders. Find them where they are and bring them back to the fold. My God in the name of Jesus Christ. And God look on the downcast. Look on the burden the broken. Those under affliction God. Those in trouble. Oh God in touch now in the name of Jesus Christ because we know that you are able today. God we pray for healing for the sick right now. We're praying my God for Deacon Michael. Lord, stretch out your healing hand and touch in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember my God, Geraldine Harmon. Remember Bryson Dudley, Lisa Welch, Lamar Blair. Remember Mother Myers today. Remember Elaine. God, we know that you're able. Remember Doris Williams. Remember Zane today. Remember Angela Croxton. Remember Renee's mother, Arthur Haynes. God, look on Mother Lois Harrison. Look on Monica. Oh God, look on Denise Dillard today. Look on Mercy, God. We know that you are a healer. God, we're praying for healing right now for Kathleen Murphy Jackson. Lord, let your mighty blood prevail and God bring healing. Oh God, where it's needed. Remember Cynthia Jackson Perry. God, because we know that you're a healer. Remember Zebra. Remember Pastor Kevin Kinchin. Remember Mother Sharp. Hallelujah, Mother Revis, Mother Brian. Remember Sister Jackie Poole. Remember Sister T. Remember James today. Remember Terrence. God, we're praying for healing for Charity Strowman. God, body, soul, and spirit. Lord, heal in the name of Jesus. God, remember and continue to bless Miracle Destiny, that precious child. Remember Anissa Rock today. Remember Buddy Winston. Remember Lady Davis, my God. Geneva today. Remember Dariana. Remember Azaria. My God, in your precious name. Remember, oh God, Phoenicia. Remember Lillian. Remember Seymour and Doris Staten. Remember Betty today. Carl, Gina Morris. Remember Joseph Foster today. Remember Jakiah Graves, Hilda Paler, Bernice Foster, Miracle Destiny, God. Remember Gladys Baysmore. Remember May Lois Reed. Remember Deborah Baysmore. Remember James today. Remember Anita Bryant today. Oh God, remember Missionary Teresa Holt. Remember Christian. Remember Lytton Pitts. Daya Thompson. Mickey. Hallelujah Watson. Johnny Watson. Jeanette Hibbler. Remember Neil Rickenbacker. Jackie Prince. Beverly McNair, Helen Winters today. Lord, I'm praying today for Minister Perkins. I'm praying for Daniel and Xavier, for Deacon Adams today, Deacon and Mother Wilson, Deacon and Sister Harrison, Brother Phil Solomon, Elder Toll's mother, Elder Toll and Elder Dokes today. I'm praying for Mother Virgie Dubos, Mother Mary Williams. I'm praying, God, that you would remember. Oh, God, hallelujah. Remember, Lord, in your name. Mother, hallelujah, Perry. Remember Mother Lloyd. Remember Mother Meadows today. Remember Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy, Missionary Marlene Roseman, Missionary Jesse Brisbane, Missionary Hodges, Sister Denise McLean, in the name of Jesus, remember, my God, Mother Elizabeth Wilson, Brother Carl, Deacon, Hallelujah, James Grant, Philip Grant today, remember Pastor and Lady Winston today, remember Bishop and Mother D. remember Apostle and Lady Keith, I pray for Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard today, Mother, Hallelujah, Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady 
Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close today. We're praying for Mother Coleman and Sister Shakaya Pope. God, we're praying that you remember Bishop, hallelujah, Richard Johnson. Bishop, hallelujah, Richard Phillips today. Bishop Clonell Williams. Bishop Irving Taylor. Bishop Gregory Wilder. Remember Bishop Alvin Palmer. Remember, my God, Bishop Larry Arnold. Remember Bishop Brian Williams today. Bishop William Jenkins, my God. Remember, hallelujah, Bishop Johnny Davis. Remember, in the name of Jesus, Mother Viola Johnson today. Remember, hallelujah, Mother Hardy. Remember, Lady J today. Remember, Lady Williams. Remember, Lady Kathy Forehand. Lady Deborah Carter. Remember, my God, Lady, hallelujah, Pamela Davenport. Remember, Mother Stokes today. I pray for Apostle, hallelujah, Herbert Evers. Apostle, er, hallelujah, Leroy Joseph. Apostle Charles Williams. Apostle Sylvester Norwood. Remember, Brother Wiggins today. Remember, Brother and Mother Sherrod. Remember, Mother Garland this morning. I pray, God, that you remember Dr. Haywood, Sister Haywood, Dr. Haywood's mother. Lord, I'm praying today that you would remember in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Mother Pride and Mother Jill. Remember, Elder and Mother Dugan, Elder and Mother Murray. Remember, Brother and Mother Chambers today. Mother Carter today. Mother Moorhead. Remember, Brother Keith this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, Hallelujah, Lady Staten today. Remember Minister Carr. Remember Elder Tyson and Elder Smith today. I pray for Mother Foster, Henry J, and Brother Cliff. I pray for Mother Tanaj, Mother Home, and Missionary Simmons. I pray for Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess today. I pray for Marlette, for Maurice, for Tony, my God, for Dennis, for Kimberly, for Chris today. I pray for Cynthia. I pray, oh God, for Mother Jackson. I pray for Apostle Moultrie. God, go to every hospital, every nursing home, every rehab center. Lord, even in hospice, you remain the healer. God, we're praying for the grieving this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. We're praying that you would remember my God, Sister Mary Dykes and her family in the loss of her grandfather. We're praying for Reverend Early Jones' family, for the Brown family, the Mann family, the McGee family, the Williams family, the Watley family, Janine Simonson and family, the Mosley family, the Dickerson family, the Harrell, Evelyn Harrell and family, the Brown family, the Johnson family, the Long family, the Bradley family, we're praying for Pastor Curtis Jenkins and family. We're praying, my God, for Sister Stephanie Rickenbacker and family. We're praying, my God, for the Shepherd family. Uncle Bobby, Aunt Valeda, for Patricia Wright. We're praying for Sheila Scott and family. For Theodore James and family. For Dwayne King and family. For the Atkins family. God, we're praying today for Bishop Daryl Forehand. We're praying for Bishop and Mother Jenkins and their families. We're praying for the Obama Robinson family. For Elder Young and his family. For the family of Reverend Harry Williams, God. We're praying for District Elder Shy, Deacon Michael Shy and the family, for Minister Jamie Carr and his family, Mother Sally Carr and her family, for Sister Janelle Rousen and her family. We're praying, my God, for Bishop Davenport and his family. We're praying for Deacon Shannon and the family of Mother Davenport of Connecticut. Oh God, we're praying for Sister Cheryl Wilson. We're praying, my God, for Sister Kimberly Clark. We're praying, God, that you remember Lady Cubit and the Cubit family, Mother Viola Johnson. We're praying, God, that you remember in the name of Jesus, Nicole and Kayla, Simone and Riley, Dee Dee Bradley the, and the Bradley family. Remember Elder Dalton and the Dalton family. Remember my God, Deacon Frazier, Sister Frazier and their families. Remember the Troublefield family. Remember Evelyn Johnson and family, the Johnson family. Remember the family of Bishop Curvy Brown, my God, and the Greater Deliverance Temple Church family. God, I'm praying today that you remember Mother Moya and Mother Walker, that you remember Jalisa and Jackie. God, that you remember Jerry and T Oh, God, remember Takesha. Remember Phoenicia and Whitney and their families. God, I'm praying, hallelujah, for Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric, Mother Close, and the family. I'm praying for Dr. Carter and the family. I'm praying, my God, that you remember in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, that you remember Apostle Phil Shekinah and the family. Remember, my God, the Quarles family, Mother Harrell and the family, Mother Grant and the family, the Groover family, the Kramer family, the Hargrove family, the Blood family, the Bynums, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carter, the Giles family, God, remember in the name of Jesus, the Bynums, the Taylors, remember my God in your name, hallelujah, God, look on all the, the Meadows family, the Moya family, the Perkins family, the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters, God, I'm praying today that you would remember in the name of Jesus Christ, the White family, remember Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean, Melvin and Street families, the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family, the Nun family, 
family, the Olmstead family, Brenda and the Alan McNeely family, Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Alan Williams family, Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family, the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdy's, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family, the Winninghams, the Bankses, the Wades, God, the Middletons, the Taylors, God look on, hallelujah, the Felix family, the Zapata family, the Mannix, the Booms, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family, hallelujah, the Taylors, the Phillips, the Josephs, look on the Davis family, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayes, the Moors, the Austins, the Harbisons, the Adams, and the Austin family. Every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one, God, look on them, comfort them, and strengthen them now. Lord, I pray for the body of Christ today. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, God, remember the church, God. Remember bishops and elders. Oh, God, remember first ladies, all the pastors, children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons. Remember the young people today. Remember musicians and singers and psalmists. God, help the church right now. Strengthen the church. Let the church walk in wisdom in the precious name of Jesus Christ. God, let the church, my God, live by your word. I pray for first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. God, we lift up today school employees and students everywhere. We pray, God, that you remember, my God, everybody that works. Cover them, keep them, protect them. Everybody that needs a job, God, create an opportunity. Everybody, my God, in the name name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, that is on a fixed income. God, make provision. And everybody that's homeless, God, open a door. Lord, I'm praying today for this troubled world, this troubled society, the troubled politics. God, the troubled violence. God, look on this world and heal the land right now. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from hatred, jealousy, and violence. Heal the land from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world. God, in the salt of the earth. Your people need you today. Help us, keep us, guide us, protect us. And we will give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on and let's give God praise right now. Everybody on this line, hallelujah, give God praise right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. This is my declaration for today. There is safety in counsel. There is safety in counsel. Look for wise people. Look for godly people. Look for people that have a knowledge and a maturity about themselves. They don't have to be old per se. They can be, but they don't have to be. They, there are young, some young wise people out there. There are some people that have godly counsel, godly information that can share with you wisdom about, hallelujah, not only the spiritual things, but the natural things. There are people you talk to, hallelujah, when you're thinking about making financial decisions. There are people you talk to when you're thinking about getting married, hallelujah, use wisdom, Hallelujah. And use those people around you that have wisdom because there is safety in counsel. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your morning is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. You can also, hallelujah, stay connected. And we thank you for being a part of prayer, for listening each morning and for praying. You can also stay connected through our podcast. You can stay connected through SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. All of them are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let me thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do and we thank God for them and we thank God for you. And if you desire to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552 Burlington, North Carolina 27215. That's P.O. Box 3552 Burlington, North Carolina 27215. You can also give online our website is www.refugetemple, N is in North, C is in Carolina.com, refugetemplenc.com, and you can give on the donate page. If you have the GiveLify app, just type in Refuge Temple Burlington 
You'll see a picture of the church and you can make your gift there. Or if you have Cash App, our Cash App is dollar sign, capital O-N-E, capital R-E-F-U-G-E, One Refuge, One Refuge, and you can make your gift there. And we thank you for your giving. But we thank you most of all for being connected with this morning prayer because God is blessing people all over the world because we are praying. Tonight, tonight, tonight at 7 o'clock, we open up the crusade for souls that will be held at the Middle Ground Baptist Association in Robertsonville, North Carolina. In Robertsonville, North Carolina, I believe that address is 3314 Robert Everett Road. I believe that's the right one. Hallelujah. And it's in Robertsonville on tonight. We'll be preaching at 7 o'clock, 3314 Robert Everett Road, Robertsonville, North Carolina. You can meet us there. God is going to bless us. There's a miracle waiting for somebody. And we invite you to come and be with us in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. And let's pray for a move of God. Hallelujah. In Robertsonville on this evening. Hallelujah. I want to just thank you for praying and ask you to keep praying. And as you pray, pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my father, my sisters, my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God would continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God, hallelujah, might be manifested in our lives. The Lord keep you safe through wise counsel. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom, shalom.